it's Raya. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today is going to be my 20 week update. I am actually 20 weeks and two days pregnant though. And as you guys know from my gender reveal video, I am having a boy. And it's really why I'm used to that because I really didn't want another boy. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Give me a little grace and popping out here. Stop! That's why I don't want another boy. I did want a girl, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna try for another one because I didn't try for this one. I just, you know, I'm not gonna have that many kids. You don't have that many kids. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but you guys wanted more updates, so this is gonna be our 20 week update. And, uh, yeah, so I'm 20 weeks in and two days in my second trimester. I use the app Baby Bump, and this is it right here. And basically, it just gives me information day to day, week to week, trimester to trimester. And right now, it says I have 139 more days to go, second trimester to 20 weeks, day two. Um, and basically, let's click on it and see. So it says that my baby is the size of a small cantaloupe, and it weighs he weighs 10.6 ounces and is six and a half inches long which is probably overdoing it because all like is or short <laughs> um but it just tells you a little information about the baby about your body and about the activities uh for the week health tips and it has like a little section that says just for you um basically it just tells me that my baby's skin will become covered with waxy like substance which is the nasty white stuff you when know, it comes off when they on the way out um and it tells me that my baby is starting to produce meconium. Meconium is like black tar, which um, stops them from pooping and pooping inside your uterus or inside their sac. So the meconium comes out, well, sometimes it comes out before one of my little sister Kiki was born. Her meconium came out um, while my mother was having her and that causes issues, it's not supposed to come out. Um, but Aiden and Ethan both had meconium come out their, their first poop which is usually when it comes out and like I really really like it and this is weird y'all this is weird um I like the meconium poop because like it's really really tar like and like it don't smell like anything like baby's poops my baby's poops never smell like anything until they started drinking like whole milk the whole time I breastfed them um Aiden until he was seven months Ethan until he was nine months um their poops didn't stink, but the meconium doesn't stink. I just think it's really, really cool that they butt stay plugged with this nasty black tar and it come out. And literally, when you wiping them, like you literally have to get it. Oh my god, yo, it's really black tar. It's probably TMI. I don't really care. It's just cool. I remember I tried to, I was mad when I got to change Morgan's this time because I was waiting for it. Like, I've always wanted to change the meconium poop. I changed BJ's first one. And I think I had got to DJ's, which is my cousin Birdie, um, second baby, her son. My little DJ, I love him so much. I think I changed his too. Um, but yeah, that's a little fun fact about me. I like meconium poops. <laughs> um, and for my body, it says you officially reached the halfway point of your pregnancy. Um, and you may have gained 10 to 13 pounds. I have not gained 10 to 13, 13 pounds. Uh, I have gained eight and a half officially uh, I said I gained 10 pounds but I didn't uh, today was my doctor's appointment so it was like 15 minutes really really quick at this point um, they took my weight I only gained one pound within the month um, so when a doctor came in he measured my belly which is measuring on track with 20 weeks uh, he did the baby's heart rate heart rate it was 156 and my baby's heart rates have never been that high. And he asked me, oh, is your baby active? I uh, feel the baby kick all the fucking time. Like, every hour he's up. This baby moves a lot. Uh, all the time I feel him moving. So, it was like the heart rate is higher um, than Aiden and Ethan's was. Because this baby is more active. Um, what else? He told me that I only gained one solid pound since I had last been there. And um, he was a little bit concerned about that. But, like... What you want me to do? Be a little fatty? Like, I really eat whatever I want, y'all. Like, I really do. I eat whatever I want, whatever I feel hungry. I eat, but, like, you have to take into consideration I'm still throwing up, which I was going to get to, y'all. I still throw up anytime I'm hungry, anytime something don't sit well with me. Like, this past weekend, like, the weekend that just passed, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I was throwing up. It was, like, nonstop. So, 
he has I told him that he was like it's normal some people have sickness the whole pregnancy hopefully that's not gonna be me but um he was like yeah I need to um try to gain at least two to three pounds a month a uh, net I just can't like I just can't I just can't I think I'm fine I'm, nah. um but what else <laughs> Um, I have an ultrasound scheduled for the 22nd. I will try to record that. Uh, also, he was just telling me that I have to come back to him in four weeks, which is normal, and that I will have my glucose test when I'm 28 weeks. All things that I knew already. Do I have any cravings? I don't think that I have any particular cravings. Like, before I was craving, like, cucumbers and lemons and all. I don't even, like, want it, like... I'm still in a phase where like if it uh, if it do not sound good like I do not want it like sometimes I feel in a chefy chefy mood like I was chefing it up this week and sometimes I just feel like okay exactly I just want like a chicken wrap from Wendy's like I just I'm so picky I wanted some where I live at it's not like a lot of like hood places like I really wanted some crab sticks from the fish store at IGA in Newark like and I was craving it for like a week and a half and I finally got them the other day it was so good I got some crab shrimp some crab sticks some fried shrimp and french fries and I put like hella tartar sauce hot sauce and ketchup on it oh my god it was so good I wish over here by my house had more places like that but they just don't like um but I haven't really been craving anything like I still don't really want to drink water and I saw that Damo puts crystal light in her water so I'm gonna try to get some crystal light and see if it makes a difference but it probably don't because like I just don't like water like there's no taste it makes me throw up when I drink water it makes me throw up just like I need something with flavor so I've been really like I always like pineapple soda but like I keep a pineapple soda in the refrigerator now just because like in the middle of the night I get really really thirsty I get up and I go get some pineapple soda <laughs> um speaking of the middle of the night I did I don't know what I do with my other pregnancy from my other pregnancy my other pregnancy pillow from Ethan's pregnancy pregnancy so I bought another pregnancy pillow thinking it would help me with my back pain no like literally I had sciatica when I was pregnant with Ethan I had pain from the top of my back to the bottom of my back and I told my doctor that today he said to try a heating pad but like I'm gonna have to let Jose hold that shit on my back because I can't lay on my stomach and put it on my back like that's out the fucking question like I talked and turned all night from the left side to the right side from the left side to the right side put the pillow under my stomach between my legs on my back like so many things and it just don't work like oh my god like my back hurt every day and like now my um my right leg from the knee to the foot been falling asleep this part right here my shoulder oh my god y'all for the last three nights it just been hurting so bad like from here all the way here just like a throbbing pain and then it'll get stiff and like dead and then it'll wake up like i'd be doing this shit all night all night i'll be doing that shit is booty like it really makes me mad <laughs> But yeah, that's like the only thing I have to be updated on. If you are pregnant and you're following my journey, or if you're following my journey and you want me to get like bump boxes and stuff, I see people do videos like that. Like, I will get bump boxes just, you know, for the pregnancy because that's what they're for. Uh, blah, duh. <laughs> that's what it's for. And um, maybe I could do that. And like, that could be a part of my pregnancy updates because. Until it gets close, it's probably going to be one, maybe two a month, depending on what happens. Like, you'll get another video from me this month on my pregnancy because I have an ultrasound. But then you won't get another one until probably till April 7th, which is my next um, doctor's appointment. And, uh, yeah, like I said before my last one, if I am forgetting anything to update you guys on, just let me know in the, descrip the description box. Just let me know in the comment section down below, and I will be sure to do it the next time. And when it comes to a baby shower, I'm not going to have a baby shower. I'm going to have a diaper party. And... It'll be cute because it's gonna be that party. I just wanna have food, good food. Uh, I'm all about the food these days. I just wanna have good food and have my family there and have a that party. I don't need any walkers or swings or anything like that. Like, I'll handle that. It's not even that serious. Clothes and stuff. I'll handle. Oh, yeah, my doctor did tell me that I had so many boy chromosomes, which is the Y chromosome, in my bloodstream that usually the test is between 97 and 99% accurate but he's 100% sure that I'm having a boy because of the levels in my blood so it's definitely a boy no hope for the ultrasound guys I'm gonna start buying boy clothes 
can just get over it, I guess. <laughs> That's it for this pregnancy update. Like I said, I'm 20 weeks. I'm gonna go ahead and do a belly shot and this on me again. So stay tuned for those pictures at the end of this video. I love you guys much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.